What's up girls? You got Danita with Booty Bands and today we are talking about your bad or your sore knees. So first, if you recently just had an injury, you want to make sure that you get checked by your doctor or your physical therapist before you ever do any exercises. So two, if your doctor says that it's a-okay to start strengthening and start easing the stiffness of your pain, then this is something that you can do. If you start to feel any sharp shooting pain or anything that is just screaming to you, then that is something that you've got to stop and you've got to listen to your doctor. This is supposed to be something that is helping your knees get to a point where you're strengthening and supporting them so you no longer have pain. So if you recently had something that was detrimental to your knees, hopefully the first thing that comes up to your mind, one of the first things is rice. So that's rest, icing, compression, and elevation. Number three, don't rest too much. Sometimes when you already have knee problems and it's not something that's new, you end up thinking, oh, I can't do anything. I can't do any movement. I can't do any exercises. I'm just going to rest all the time. What that's going to end up doing is weaken the areas around your knees even more and you're going to develop more stiffness and more pain as you get older and older. And that also means you don't just jump into any exercise. That means you slowly progress into it and choose the right exercises that's going to be best for your weaker knees. Number four, if you have any extra pounds on, you definitely want to make sure that you take those off, number one, through diet, and number two, through some of the exercises that are not going to be detrimental to your knees. It's very, very crucial that you start off small and then make big results. So number five, the things that you do not want to do are exercises that are very jarring on your joints. So meaning anything that's like running downhill, Okay, forward walking lunges. You want to be very, very careful that when you are doing the exercises, you're very gentle on those knees. So things that where you're stepping up, that's going to be a lot better than stepping down. Number six. One of the best things too is always make sure that you warm up before starting any exercise program. So one of the best things is water aerobics. If you have any connection to go swimming or wherever, that is definitely going to be hands down the best. Um, next are going to be maybe a bicycle um, or, or warm ups that you can just do without gravity pushing down onto your joints. Stop. You're going to have your knees feel so much better by just a pillow and a booty band. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you this trick at the very end. So here's the secret on how to limit your knee pain. What you're going to do is we're going to focus on working the inside, the top, the outside, and the back of your legs. What this is going to do is give you a 360 strength supporting your knees and you're going to feel such a difference. So I definitely feel your pain. I have been there too. I used to be a high impact aerobic dancer where I would be doing salsa and merengue and cha-cha and all these fun moves that I was passionate about and teaching classes. Now when I'm in front of everyone, I'm trying to give my all and do my best. But what I started experiencing is what one knee would have pain and then the other one would have pain. Sometimes both would have pain. And so it really limits my ability to do what I wanted to do. So I've been there. I know how that feels. And I started putting knee braces on and wraps and I tried every wrap out there. And then I started realizing, you know what? Why am I trying to cover it from the outside in? The best thing you can do is work it from the inside out. So the first exercise, we're going to go into adductors, meaning you're going to bring your knees inward. So this is going to be working your inner thighs. I have a lot of exercises on this on my YouTube as well. You can find it on um, booty bands. So today we're going to use a pillow. It works just as good. You can also have a ball. You can also have a machine at the gym. Um, but whatever that's going to work your inner thighs is going to be the best. So a beginner move is where you're just sitting on the ground with the pillow. An advanced move, you can actually be against the wall into a wall sit doing the same thing. So you can go ahead and just place your hands behind you. And what I do is I call it the pyramid. So I'm going to squeeze the pillow once and then I'm going to let go and I'm going to squeeze it twice. And then I'm going to go all the way up. So I'm going to count. So next is three and then four, five, six, seven, eight. After I get to eight, I'm going to go from eight 
all the way back down to one. And so I'm really gonna feel a nice good burn into my inner thighs, again, the pyramid, okay? So then after that, I'm gonna go into my quads. The best one that I like for the quads, I'm gonna place the booty band around my legs, and I'm gonna go ahead and lie down. I'm gonna have one leg bent and the other one straight. And from here, I'm just going to do a leg raise, and you're gonna come back down. So this one's fun. You can either do with a flexed foot or pointed. I like to switch it up because it's going to definitely start playing around into that knee. Again, we're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna go one, and then one, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I already feel it. And so again, you're gonna go all the way up to eight, and then you're gonna go all the way back down that pyramid again. So start from eight and go to one. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go on to the side. Now this is called abductor, so you're going away. So this one, you can go ahead and go into your leg raises where your bottom leg is gonna be bent, the top leg is going to be straight. Again, you can play around with a flexed foot and then a pointed. And same reps here, the pyramid set. So you're just gonna go one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I'm already starting to feel it. Good, and then again, you're gonna go all the way up to eight reps, and then from eight down to one. <clears throat> After that, so again, you wanna make sure you're doing both sides, so that you're strengthening both sides. So then you would flip over to the other side and do the other one, okay? The last one we're gonna do is the back of the legs, okay? So this one here is where you're gonna go into your <clears throat> um, you can call them kickbacks or straight leg kickbacks. And so here you're just gonna keep a flexed foot and just kick back. One, two. Again, you're gonna go all the way back up the eight to eight and then all the way back down. And from there, you're going to be getting a inside out workout that's going to be help strengthening the legs. And again, all, of you, all that you need is a booty band and a pillow, and you're gonna feel you supporting, strengthening, and feeling a difference with those knees. I hope this helped you. Again, at any time during this workout, if you feel any sort of really sharp pain that doesn't feel right, please speak to your doctor or your physical therapist. So if you liked these videos and it helped you, go ahead and hit subscribe. We would love to have you be a part of our community, so go ahead and click the link below to be able to change your mind, your body, and your life with Booty Bands.